welcome to the stage, Chris Moss. Chris, 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 Chris. I don't know if you guys are able to tell, but I'm colorblind. Not all the colors though, just red, green, brown, sometimes yellow. And because of this, I always get the same two questions. Chris, how do you drive? How do you see the lights? These questions annoy the shit out of me because they're like an insult to my common sense. Let me explain. You see, when you get to a light, not only do you see the colors, but more importantly, you see the order of the colors. Obviously. When I get to a light, I see the colors. But more importantly, I see the order. <laughs> Yellow at the top, green in the middle, and red at the bottom. If you didn't get, if you didn't get that joke, you probably shouldn't be driving. <laughs> a couple months ago, I told a friend that I'd be starting stand-up comedy. He immediately started laughing. <laughs> because I'm fucking hilarious. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that's been happening in the news lately, like that Ukrainian airplane, Harry and Meghan moving to Canada. But what I really want to talk about, what I really want to talk about is the corona. The other day, I was on the TC subway, and I was sitting on one of those blue seats. Because, well, handicap. <laughs> I was surrounded by a bunch of people, and they were all wearing surgical masks. I thought, wow, what a bunch of pussies. <laughs> and while I was laughing at these silly people, the person sitting next to me, who wasn't wearing a mask, started coughing. No big deal. I cough all the time. <laughs> the people around us shifted away, but I wasn't about to move. Then he sneezed. No big deal. I sneeze all the time. <laughs> And then it happened. This time, he coughed again. But he coughed and blood came out. Oh. The people around us shifted away even further. But I wasn't about to move. This wasn't a big deal. I cough out blood. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> So I did what any sensible person would do. I found the best production for that situation. I opened up my bag and I took out a condom. <laughs> Ever since I was young, my dream was to become a pilot. To be a chauffeur of the skies. When I found out that I had issues seeing color, it broke my heart, but I didn't give up. I completed four years of aviation school. My physical impediment was not about to stop me from achieving my dream, but a test did. <laughs> and when it did, and when it did, my dreams of becoming a pilot, my dreams of becoming that chauffeur in the sky were shot down like that plane in World War II. 
My name is Chris. You guys have been great. Thank you. Yeah. Chris Small, everybody. Chris Small.